evening in 1991 when Liz Ibbotson saw dancing lights in the sky over her farmhouse. Air traffic controllers couldn't explain it. No planes were flying at the time. Her 18-year-old daughter raised the alarm when she saw objects out of the bedroom window. I stood and watched for a few minutes and sure enough it was a red and green, green light flashing, sort of blipping about. But instead of just being in one place, it actually was blipping here and there and all over. And I thought, well, aeroplanes don't do that. And we watched it come right across here and followed it right the way around to the front of the house, that side. I had no idea what it was. I didn't really think of UFO, to be quite honest. I just thought, I don't know what this is. It's strange, it's weird. And the only time I got really frightened was when it hurtled itself from that top corner of the field towards the farmhouse. And I thought it was going to smash straight into the farmhouse. I thought it was going to crash into us. The story was printed in the Hull Daily Mail. Other people then wrote to the paper saying that they too had seen a similar object. I must have had between 30, 40 calls easily. and all of them giving similar descriptions to red and green lights flashing. Um, and, you know, just, they had no explanation. They, they just said it just was so strange. They, they'd seen it playing around in the sky. At the bottom of the field stands the Star Public House. It was at the same time that Joyce Porter saw a bright light over the farm. A big bright dove, um, just very bright. Um, Nothing like a star, nothing like an aircraft, or just something I just couldn't say what it was. We came down and there was um, an oblong shape about that sort of size, by that, just suspended there, just this bright oblong light. And um, I, just, I just didn't know what to do then, I sort of freaked, I thought, oh God, what is it? 